Corey with Corey Hall Fitness. Today I'm going to show you a tutorial on how to do a one arm pull up. Now uh, a lot of people want to learn this because it's a, it's a great strength move to do. It's something that not a lot of people can do. So I'm going to show you some tips and techniques that you can do that's going to help you get stronger and better with the one arm pull up. So I hope you're ready. Okay, first thing I'm going to show you is the finger subtraction, okay? And what you're going to be doing is you're going to get in a pull-up position, and what you want to do is you want to figure out which arm you're more strong with, okay? For me, it's my right arm. So that's the one that I'm going to be doing the one-arm pull-up with, okay? So what I want to do is I want to bring that arm in close to my body as possible. You don't want it way out here when you're trying to do a one-arm pull-up. You're going to try to bring it in close, okay? What you're gonna do with your other arm and your other hand is we're gonna put four fingers on the bar, okay? And every one, you're just gonna to try to figure out what you're more comfortable with, okay? If you're if four's too easy, then do three. If three's too easy, then do two. If two's too easy, then do one, okay? But we're gonna subtract them every time, so let's just figure it out. So we got our arm in close. We got four fingers on the bar. Here we go. One. Now I'm gonna to go to three, okay? Two, two fingers on the bar, pull up, okay, now I got one, okay, just like that. Now figure out what you're more comfortable with, if four is too easy, then do three and do sets of that, okay, rep it out, do as many as you can to get stronger, okay, once that becomes easy, then do two, when that gets easy, do one, and ultimately the goal is to take that hand away and just do a one arm pull up okay now what you also want to do is once you use your right arm then you want to switch you want to get both arms comfortable that way you can do a one arm pull up using both arms all right okay next thing i'm going to show you is the towel trick to me this is by far the best routine you can do for practicing your one arm pull ups i even do it to this day just when I'm working out and I want to get my biceps stronger and also is working out the core too okay but when I want to get when I want to make my one-arm pull-ups better this is what I do I rep out these routines and ultimately it's gonna help me to get more one-arm pull-ups and get stronger with it okay so what you're gonna do you want to get a towel just like this something long a little bit long decently and you're gonna throw it over the bar okay you want to make sure you have both sides hanging down and again, I'm gonna use my strong arm. This is my other arm, my, my support. Okay, the lower you grab this, the harder you make it, okay? So if I'm grabbing it this low, that's about as hard as it's gonna get. To make it easier, I'll come up to middle level. And to make it really easy, I'm gonna come up to the top. So let's start out at the top. Here we go. Now I'm going to move into the middle. Here we go. Okay, now I'm going to get as low as I can. Here we go. Alright, just like that. It's the best routine, best thing you can do, I promise you. Okay, here we go. This is something that I see a lot of people do. I've, I've done it myself. This was when I was actually getting getting stages of doing it. And these are negatives. You see these a lot with people trying to progress in calisthenics with things on the bar. Negatives are great, okay? Now what we're gonna do with this negative, with the one arm pull up, you're gonna jump up with both hands. So you make sure that you get up there, okay? You're gonna jump, grab it with both arms. And then what you're gonna do, you're gonna let go with that wheel, the weak arm and then you're gonna slowly come down with your strong arm. All right, so watch me. All right, just like that. Now watch me again, all right, here we go. All right, those are negatives. Okay, last thing I'm going to show y'all, I'm going 
I'm gonna tell you all is just give you all a little bit of tips, things that you can do. Now, once you start getting good at the one arm pull up, you wanna try to get that dead hang one arm pull up, okay? And that requires a lot of shoulder strength, okay? So a lot of people's shoulders don't even wanna move from this, from this part. It, I mean, it just almost feels impossible. I remember when I was there, okay? So what you wanna do, come up to the bar and just barely nudge it, okay? Get your shoulder used to that feeling of coming, using the strength to come up right there in that position. All right, another thing that you can do also is do some dead hang L sits with one arm. All right, like that, that will strengthen the core. That's a big thing with one arm pull ups that a lot of people don't know takes a lot of core strength, all right? So let's do it with the other arm. All right, now let's get into the L-sit. All right, just like that. All right, everybody, that's the tutorial for this week. I hope you enjoyed it. Now before you get into doing a one-arm pull-up, you want to make sure that you're good at regular pull-ups first, okay? You want to make sure that you're doing between 10, 15, and 20 in one set, okay? Now, when you work on these one-arm pull-ups, you want to make sure that you're building a strong core. So those uh, one-arm L-sits are great to do in any other ab exercises, all right? And make sure you're doing those tugs, those shoulder tugs, because you're going to be using your shoulders a lot, especially with the dead hand, all right? Now, if you're looking for more workouts, more extreme workouts, go to my website at www.coryhallfitness.com. All right? Thanks.